too. Sorry about that. My hair's decided to have a bit of a mind of its own. Hello again and welcome to Pink Poodle 2. I am Pink Poodle. We have a little Maisie here, the Pink Poodle. And today, Maisie, what are we going to be doing? We are going to be doing the Freya Cauldron's Moon Witch subscription box for um, April, isn't it? April now. Gosh, it's April. Where is the time going? So this is a monthly subscription box. It costs £27 and it is created by Freya and her husband, which are witches and it is really a good box. Last month we had this beautiful necklace in there, which was the goddess necklace. I really like this. Um, so yeah, so this month we've um, got a different theme. So um, this is what the cheat seat looks like. Um, it comes. I actually did open this and look at it because I wanted to get everything open before I actually filmed. So it comes in a bag normal bag that they sent through and it comes in an ordinary box with no markings on with purple writing on it now if I put this so I can do this because I can my this table in the fairy not in the fairy room I've got to sort my fairy room out I know guys I keep on saying that but every time I go to do it things happen and I can't do it so I had an awful night last night Full of pain and I was awful. I couldn't sleep hardly. Hence why my eyes are all dark and nasty. I tried to put a bit of makeup on to hide it, but you know it's what happens when you have chronic illness, isn't it? Anyway, so we're opening this up, and the first thing we see is generally the little card, and it says Freya's Cauldron Moon Witch Description Box, April 2023. And then you always get an uh, envelope that says Book of Shadows. And in it, you normally get um, the Cosmic Correspondence for May that tells you about all about the moon and all through May. And it also tells you what sort of moon it is. And um, we'll get to that bit in the end. I'm not going to put that there because we don't want to read that out now. Oh, no. And it also tells you about the um, stone that you have as well. So this is like all the different things that are happening um, and when it's a full moon, which is the 5th of May. Uh, the 12th is the last quarter. The 19th is the black new moon. And Saturday the 27th is the first quarter. And that's really cool. So, and then we always get a little card for the month and I absolutely love these put these up and it tells me when the full moon is and all the what's going on with the moon and then you get a little artwork and this is for Beltane so this is in um, we're only just out of Ost Ostara but Beltane is the next one and this is when they celebrate the summer coming in and you've got like all the maypoles and all that the fire is quite a, um, a significant thing in it so yeah, so we've got that. So that's in the um, envelope. Well, the 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 um, the picture and the calendar isn't, but I always put it in the envelope. And I put that there. And then we get a little spell. This is a Beltane ritual kit. And in this we have a green candle. We have a serviette. Last month I did it. I actually did the um, the thing and it was a little pillow and it's on my um, Ostara um, altar. I've also got some herbs. I don't know what's in this herb, so we're going to have a look. See what herbs it is. See if we can name any. Not that I'm good at it. Did a lot of planting with Lily the other day. All these smell gorgeous. They are, but. They look like your typical herbs. I think there must be some bay leaf in there. I'm not sure, but it smells lovely. It does smell, yeah, it's definitely bay in there. There's bay leaf in there, for sure. So there's the little um, thing that you get there. Herbs everywhere. 
and then you get like the little what you have to do it's called uh, Beltane Ritual um, and it tells you how to do the um, Maple Lotus Flower out of the um, serviette so that's going to be interesting but I can do that my daughter's very good at origami so I'm sure she should be able to do it but I'll have a go at that all the same I'll practice on another um, serviette first and then we have a information about what Beltane is and it tells you Beltane known as Mayday um, Moonrise on May Day Eve at 30th of April and it tells you what goddesses are normally thought of in this one and Freya is the Norse one that is um, thought of in it any mother goddess, goddesses of love hunt and fertility so you've got Aphrodite, Venus um and then you've got the god, which is Artemis, I don't know, or Odin, Hearn, Hearn, the hunter, is that? But like in Robin Hood. Um, and then you've got the maypole, a phallic symbol representing male fertility and energy. Flowers used to make a headdress to symbolise the queen of the may. Fires, cattle were driven through Beltane fires for good luck and protection. Sounds a bit cruel, doesn't it? People jump over fires to symbolise burning their past for the good of luck. The hawthorn tree, blossoming of the hawthorn, heralds Beltane. The blossoms were used to decorate the main pole in the ritual and girls would wear them in their hair. I'll insert what a blossoming hawthorn looks like here. And... Uh, colours are white represents the May Queen, beginnings of hope and beauty. Green represents fertility, abundance, creativity, growth and the Lord of the Green Wood. Red, the coming of summer, the power of the sun, virtually growth, fertility, so, uh, yeah, vitality, vitality, growth and passion. Yellow represents the power of the sun, wisdom, communication, new opportunities and happiness. And it says oh, what you can do, you can decorate your home with different things, spell work. What is Beltane? Beltane is said to be the oldest festival and is seen by many of the second important Sabbaths after Samhain. It marks the beginning of summer or the season of light and heat. It starts at moonrise on the 30th of April where all fires were doused and the girls would collect flowers from the meadows, wearing them in their hair, going from house to house singing, giving a flower to the occupant who would give them food and drink in return. Beltane translates to Bel, the Celtic god, god the bright one, and Tain, the Scottish Gaelic fire. Beltane is a cross-quarter festival it sits directly between the spring equinox and the summer solstice and six months away from um Samhain. in celtic tradition the night before beltane all flowers must both communal and homes are doused a little dawn before dawn people would gather at the nine sacred woods to build a new communal fire which was thought to be purify the air of all evil forces. Tor torches lit and Beltane fires were taken home and light the earth fire for the coming. Um, this time the cattle were turned into the wild pasture. The cattle and other livestock would be driven between the smoke, oh, <laughs> not through it, <laughs> to protect them from ill health and enhance fertility for the coming season. People would jump over the bonfires for procurication and luck for the coming year. Bonfires were lit over the land to honour the sun, to encourage the god to give them light and warmth throughout the summer months. And it says, um, hand fastenings, union of engagement of two people for a year have been performed around this time as far back as 7000 BC. Young men would go into the woods and choose the straight trunk and would cut down and drag it back to the village in ceremony style. 
the trunk would then be erected. Oh, that's where you get the maypole, and then they go around it. So the full foods of the season is dairy, eggs, honey, bannock, I don't know what that is, lamb, oatmeal, seafood, fairy cakes, green salads, drinks is milk, mead, um, that scale lifting, which is an Irish whiskey milk punch. And then it just tells you some of the things you can be doing. And then it also says, like, how to make a maypole. I've, I made that last year. It's got the blessing here. I made one of them last year, so you'll see that when I do my um, thing. And it just says about the rituals you can do. And also you can make some Sabbath cookies and Beltane brandies, which I think is really cool. So there you go. Now you know what Beltane is. So then we have this, which is the Hawthorne Moon Herb Blend. Let's smell it. I think it might smell the same as what we've got in the other one. They come like this now. They used to come in like little jars, but now they come in this. Yeah, it's definitely banging now. Because again, it's like, it really does look like what we've just seen. It smells lovely. It's rose in there as well. It smells really lovely. It's the baby, baby sucking here. So, and then we've got this, which is a little ornament. And I did get it out already because it, it's in styrene, which a lot of people don't like the sound of, so I don't want to invoke people. And it's a little, and it says, Stay wild, moon child. It's really cute. You can put some offerings in there or whatever on your altar, I like that. Just put that back because I don't know, this it says it's this is what it is here. It says witching wares hanging ornament, and you could get all these different, get all these different ones like from this series. This has got my tree anyway. There, yeah, so there's that, and then we've got the stone, the crystal of the month, tumble stone of the month, which is a drum more oh gosh this is a word i can't say um it's very beautiful it's like blue and gray and it's got some excuse me it's very beautiful and it is i will put what it's called here because i can't pronounce it dumb more to write more to write dumb Jumal to right. I can't say, I do apologise. And its energy is receptive. It's earth, air, chakra, throat, and third eye chakra, Leo, and it's to do with Isis, Neptune, Ardeen, and Brigend. And it says, um, it helps to bring calm, relaxation, Harmony bring in extremely helpful in situations where you need to reduce overexcited behaviour and stubbornness. Support a supportive stone encourages you the confidence to stand up for yourself while staying true to one's beliefs. Um, I do tend to be like that anyway, to be fair. And it works with throat chakras and third eye. Oh, it could be good for my throat then. Uh, so it's a very spiritual stone. It's believed to facilitate communication with your angels and spirit guides. Oh, that's that then. Right, so we can put that back there. Put that there, so we've got that there. Because I can, as I get myself all, all wound up. Then we've got a lovely sticker. They always provide a really lovely sticker from this company, I think it's the same company that every month with Angus Udet. Really lovely stickers. And then we have this, which is a little, and it's Snow Quartz Crystal Chips. Let's get these out. I think I have some of these already, but I thought they were delightful. I like her, um, oops, what do you call it? Um, clear quartz and um, I forgot what it's called now. And the um, 
rose quartz kind of, kind of thing. I've lost my... What am I? That's it for looking. Uh, I haven't found it. Right, so we're going to put her back in. Get back in, you can't escape. You can't escape. Anyway, how is everybody? I hope everybody is well. And they're not too unwell. There's a lot of people going down with this virus -y type thing at the moment. My daughter and her and my wife has had it. And um, my daughter has spent like a week away from her wife. Because she ended up getting COVID as well. So, yeah, it's not been nice for them. They're living in the same house yet, separated. So, I hope everybody is well, though. And then we have the colours for Beltane, which is orange, green, red, white and yellow, which represents, if you think about it, oops, oops I'll get into the order that I want it to be in. It's like a game, isn't it? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. So... That kind of represents a sort of colour of fire, and then the tree, and then I'm not sure, spirit, I suppose. So, yeah, so that's that. And then we have a little box with a beautiful necklace in it. Another necklace for me to put by after wear, which I absolutely think this is gorgeous. And it's always a nice length as well. And this is. The Tree of Life with the Moon Goddess, Triple Moon and the Pentacle. Which I think it's really beautiful that. But it's not kind of like, it's not silver. It's got a little bit of a... It's not gold, but it's got not, it's got a little bit of colour to it. It's very beautiful. I, I like the necklaces. So there's that. And the last thing that we have, of course, is the series that they started with and that is the wooden clock which I think is brilliant I do change my own when I'm supposed to and it is the Hawthorn Moon this is so lovely it smells like burnt wood I love the smell of burnt wood yep so this is it it's from the 13th of May June the 9th and it's the whole form. Like I said, we would have seen what the whole form looked like because I would have inserted it earlier. So there's that. So in our prayer cauldron this month, we got what I do is I'll take it out, keep it out for a sec so we can see what we've got down there. Foreman. The Hawthorn Moon is the sixth in the Celtic tree calendar and is ruled by the Hawthorn. Hence the name, I suppose. Hawthorn's common folklore name is the May Tree. In folklore, the fire festival of Beltane, the beginning of summer, starts on the full first sprouting of the May blossom or celebrated on the first full moon after the Hawthorn has bloomed. The full form is also known as the fairy tree. Float glow stakes where oak, ash and thorn are found, you will find fairies. A sanctuary hall form and a hall form found by wells are said to mark the boundaries of fairyland. That's interesting, isn't it? Uh, I don't know what the hall form looks like until we put, I look it up and put it into that thing. So we have information about Things that, that so we have the necklace thing, a really lovely sticker. We have a lovely tree hanging cauldron. We have the um, candles. We have the snow quartz. We have the Domulorite, or whatever, which I can't say, crystal this month. We have the blend, Hawthorne blend. We have the information about um, Beltane. We have the ritual kit. And we also have Book of Shadows, which is included in that. In that at the moment is the calendar and the picture so this is 
all of Freya's Cauldron for this month. So let me just go through the cheat sheet again, just to make sure I've got it all, because I wouldn't like to say that it's missing. So we've got Freya's Cauldron candles. I'm going to put these back in the box when I say this, because then I know that it's so... There goes my, my right, so, start again. So, we've got the spell candles. We have the Hawthorne blend of herbs. Where are they gone? We did have them, didn't we? Yes. Check. We've got the tumble stone. Check. We have. The ritual check. Oh. Right. I would read it to we got to Ritual Fry's Cauldron Oak Moon Collectible. I believe that must be this. We have the sticker. Check. Stay moon child hanging thing. We have the crystal chips here. We have the Representation of Beltane. We have the Beltane booklet. We have the moon calendar for May. And on here, May here is my birthday, and that's Lily's birthday there. So, yeah, that's coming soon. Paul's birthday at the end of this month. And then we have we have the book clip and then we have the book of shadows paperwork which I'm trying to put back in here now, which I find it difficult to do for some reason. And then we did it say but oh I, I missed the pendant and the tree and life pendant. So that's all of the what's in Freya's cauldron this month. So so hopefully you enjoyed that video. If you did, please give me a pause up. I'd really appreciate that. And if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. I hope you stay around. And if you come back for more, thank you very much for that. Can you see in the background there? That was my mum's dog called Goldie. I had some pictures of Jessie with her brother many years ago. You see all them in the background, can't you? <laughs> you realise you can see all that. Anyway, um, yeah, so please, if you come back again, I'm really, really grateful for it. And um, I enjoy, enjoy your company. I hope you enjoy my videos. So anyway, I hope everybody stays safe and well. And I will see you in the next Pink Poodle too. And always remember, it is what it is. And it ain't what it ain't. Until next time on Pink Poodle 2. Bye. Mwah.